Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with the Civic again and I'm going to be attempting, and that is a word very stressed there, attempting to change the trap rod end on, on the car today. I'm not sure if you can see it because the wheel's in the way, but the wheel will obviously be coming off. Um, I'm going to quick tool rundown. I believe all you'll need is a socket, a good socket. Um, I've gone from a half inch drive here uh, with a 17mm on the end of it, a 19mm spanner and obviously a ball joint splitter uh, you can get a short one like mine you can get big long things as well i don't think it's bad enough to need a long one on this but we'll soon find out and then obviously you need your replacement uh, track rod end which i found on auto dock they seem to have literally every car part under the sun so i'm gonna just whack the ignition on. i'm not gonna turn it the full way and i'm gonna turn the wheel sort of outwards like that or inwards sorry so we can have full access to see the job that we're actually doing. So what we're doing is this little guy here, where are we looking now? Yeah, it's this little one here. Uh, it's, it did come up on the MOT advisory sheet to say that um, it, was, it had some play in it. So we are gonna be swapping this one out for this nice shiny new one that's up here. So um, let's crack on with getting the wheels off. Okay, so once you've obviously got the car jacked up, I've already done that, um, you're going to want to get your little wheel brace, I think it's called, I'm not quite sure because I'm an umpty, um, and take the wheel off. Make sure you always loosen the wheel once before you jack the car up, or else you'll never get it off because the wheel will just start spinning round. Uh, that's a handy tip and obviously I've definitely made that mistake before because I was a rookie, a very much virgin rookie at this at one point, so just want to gently take these out. I don't know how long it's been since these wheels have been off, but I bet it's been a damn long time. And then for the last one, you're gonna to wanna to just hold the wheel in place because it will be beginning to move sort of all over the shop. And once you've got that last one off, just grab it either side or wherever you're comfortable and just gently pop her off just like that. And then just, we'll, for now, we'll just roll it to the side. And then here you can, Again, very clearly see that there is clear access to this track rod and we can give it a full assessment and hopefully determine why it's come up on the MOT as an advisory. And, and already I can see straight away why this has come up as an advisory. It's clearly rotten. You know, the rubber's probably starting to split. I mean, you can't really see it on the video, but there where my finger is, it's starting to split. So it is fairly obvious that this wants some attention. As does probably the rest of the car at some point, because I know the history of the car, it did come from a farm, hence all of this mud, or it could just be for the road, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's our issue there. So let's get cracking on. It does have a split pin there. Uh, so we'll just, uh, we'll try and break that off at some point. But I think our first part of call should be to wire brush this so we can see what we're really dealing with. So I'll go and grab one of those now. Maybe, yeah, right, the socket is over it now. So basic principles of things, right, you're tight, you're left, you're loose. So which way are we going here? Let's get it on at a bit of a different angle. Oh, are we on there? Not quite, so that's going right, so that's going tight, so we can switch that at the back of the socket, like so. And then we we'll begin to attempt cracking this damn thing off. Now, because it's rotten, I don't expect instant movement with this. It's gonna take some force and potentially a time lapse and me making some funny noises. And I hope I don't break the damn ratchet either. So let's try it with my left. It probably won't work. So let's just let's try it with both. Give one more click and then. Oh, we got some movement. We cracked her. We've done it. That was far easier than I thought. Jesus Christ. See there. Doing it with ease and still no further progression towards it coming off the, the track rod end. So I think for today, I'm going to have to leave it here. Uh, and come back tomorrow in the morning because I do have other things to be cracking up with today. Uh, tackle it with some proper big boy tools, so um, I guess I'll catch you then. Right, so back here again. It's the next morning. I've come equipped with my trusty angle grinder. I'm going to get it right on this nut here. Try obviously not to catch the disc um, and just grind it off. I've checked my box. It does come with a new one. Um, this thing's meant to be fully charged. It says it is, but it's got a tendency to die rather quickly because it is not it's not the most expensive uh, angle grinder in the world so let's just get on with it there we 
battery out just like that already it's cut out how brilliant is that damn it man it keeps cutting out We're getting somewhere now. Jeez, that is, that's happened quite quickly. Right, let's carry on. That's quite funny, that's just popped off. There's the rest of what was the nut, we will not be needing that. The only thing that's left is this little guy. And you can feel that straight away there. So let's grind him off. There we go, I'm not sure if you saw it in the video, but there we go, straight out, nice and easy. It was playing a little bit, but there we go. That is, if you're ever stuck, how you get a trap by hand out, always trust an angle grinder. It's okay, let's move on to the next bit. Remember, always wear safety glasses, because if, what, if I'm not sure if you saw it, I did duck away for a second whilst I was grinding, bits of metal do go flying everywhere, so safety is always very important when you're doing jobs like this. You don't need the ball joint splitter, because we've ground it away, so what we need is this 19 millimeter spanner and I'll show you where you need to whack this one you need to get this on here like so oh dear <laughs> oh Jesus Christ that is hot okay so the last time you saw me here um, I was with my dad because I needed some uh, professional assistance to try and get uh, this trap rod off. Um, it's completely off, uh, and today we're going to be putting the new one back on. It's been a couple of days since then, um, so let's not mess around. Let's just crack on with it. Let's have a look at this, this little doozy. That is lovely and clean. Nice and new. Got some crap on me there, but yeah, that's lovely. So let's get her on. First of all, we'll turn this back this way. So the procedure of this is it literally just screws in there if you like so we'll get on with that now and before we know it this trap rod arm will be back on okay there we go that's that back on now we just need to line this up with where it was we'll take the old nut away right then now i'm not sure if i've got the right approach to this but what i've had an idea of doing is actually trying to jack up all this so that this may actually have a, a, a cat and L's chance of going in the hole correctly. I've, I've seen people do this with um, similar things before, so I'm going to give it a shot. If I'm doing the wrong thing, oh well. As you know, I'm here on a learning curve. I think we're on there. Are we on? We are on. Excellent. Now, let's see if this just goes through the other side of the hole. Aha! There she is through the other side. I knew something. I knew it'd be something farty and small like that. Bloody hell, right. So let's get this screwed back on here. And then we're gonna have to uh, do this again, but in the correct position for me to be able to get the nut underneath. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but let's wing it and find out together. Because again, why the hell not? Okay. So that's not gonna move anywhere at the moment. So let's bring her back down and we'll line it back up again if we go there and then if I move her more and I don't know why I'm abbreviating um, the jack to be a female not a clue actually right 
let's get it jacked back up again. And this way it will actually go through. There we are. And will it pop back out again? No. Oh, he's only gonna done it. I'm, oh, I'm well happy with that. I'm so easily pleased with these things. Right, let's get this, uh, get this underside nut on. Yep, and then we'll uh, we'll tighten it right up. Is that the wrong size? Yep. Is that the wrong size? No. Lovely, lovely stuff. I've even got the right tools for the job. I believe that's on loose, so we want to uh, tighten this boy up. That's, uh, there we go, right. Let's tighten it up. Get this nice and tight. So there's absolutely no movement in this whatsoever. Do one more crank. Maybe one more. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Now we can get our little spanner. And if this one need, up here needs tightening up, we can do just that, which I think it will need some tightening. There we go. Let's get on that one more time. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing here. I know that my camera's possibly pointing on the inner wing. Apologies if that's the case, but I don't think it should be. Let's try and uh, that one more yank. Yep, yeah, that's tight. And that is in. So there you go. That is how you replace your trap or end ball join on a, on a 99 Honda Civic. Uh, thank you for watching this very choppy video of how to do this. Um, next up is the brakes i'm midway through filming that uh, but i've come to a dead end with what i need to do anyway so products of the day here at walls workshop um if you enjoyed the video bang a like on it comment um anything the hell you want just whatever um and i'll catch you around for another honda video at some point soon cheers for watching again